ons en ons moet amper groot. Maar as jy laatst week gekyk het, sal jy onthou dat ons dame met die naam van Whitney op die program gehad het, wat 52.000 rand ingesamel het vir Home of Hope. Wel, sy is vanavond weer hier. Kom ons verwelkom maar asjeblief. Welcome back, Whitney. So we thought we have to invite you back because we want to find out how you managed to raise the funds that you raised for Home of Hope last week. Well, I have a, a mom blog. Um, I sort of started uh, a couple of months after my daughter was born. I became a single mom. So I sort of just used it to vent and, you know, just got a lot of followers that seemed to relate mm -hmm. to the chaos. And, yeah, I had a lot of people that wanted to help and all the outings that I, I planned with Jordan um, with the different charities I got involved in. So it just, just grew from, from there, really. So, yeah. so what you say, you're a single mom with your daughter and now you're doing all of these other things. How do you do it all? It sprung purely from wanting to teach my, my, my kid a lesson in terms of, um, you know, like when you become a parent, you want to go, okay, cool, I celebrate Christmas. How do I want to celebrate Christmas? What are the traditions that I want to start with mm -hmm. my daughter? And one of them was, okay, terrible twos. I got a teacher to share and it started out like that and I actually got really attached to wanting to keep going back to those kids and she wanted to keep going back because she had friends to play with and mm. you know it was amazing so for it's her. interesting that you started a blog yeah. about how you felt mm. and then the blog turned into something different because you know sometimes people just blog because they want to yeah but you turned yours into mm. something with purpose mm. yes um, so how does one sustain that Oh, basically, there's so much chaos going on in my life. It's so <laughs> easy to vlog. So it was, I was an open book. It was about mediation sessions, mm. court appearances. Um, not that I'm any kind of lawyer, but I you know, did do legal advices. And what I learned about the court's process of that thing and um, traveling with my toddler and where I took her, you know, you just feel like wherever you are, there's not enough places to take your kid that's just mm. acting up or... Mm. You know, so I blogged about everything and it just it just happened. And then you write, you, know, you write about it. Where do you find time to write about it? <laughs> with everything else. else. Because yeah. with everything oh. else, just bringing up a child. I mean, it yeah. looks like a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's chaos. It's absolutely it's chaos. It is. <laughs> Even nap times are chaos because it's like, then it's other work and it's this and it's school prep and it's so i mean it's basically so do you write at night after each day or throughout yeah just whenever you know i feel something like i need happens. to vent something or you know something's like upcoming a court appearance that you know i'm just nervous about or mm. are you still busy with yes with the oh. yes that's so. horrible yeah how old yeah. is your daughter now she's just turned two now november oh, oh, yeah. oh okay. still baby and the kind of people that help you uh, is it also single moms? Is it uh, other charities? Uh, what kind of people are they? Yeah, just other other moms, single moms, and mm. you know, moms that are married. Just play dates that form and friendships mm. form from that, and followers from my Instagram that keep wanting to know certain things. So mm. it becomes sort of like a live feed where we all just discuss things. And mm. that's fabulous. Yeah. Do you think yeah. it's the honesty that resonates with people? I think so, because mm. they go, you know, I don't go to the extent of streaming, mm. you know, mediation sessions and things like that, but <laughs> <laughs> she was, you know, I still, you know, tell them about it afterwards, because mm. it's, it's all genuinely the same problems, really, if mm. you think about it. Mm. Now, you also, she, I, I read about the blog, and I, you said what you want your daughter to realize on very important days, like Christmas and birthdays, mm. that it's not about what you receive, yes. but what you give. Exactly. And is this something that she understands already? She does. You know, the terrible two, she didn't want to share. Everything was mine. You know, the mm -hmm. natural stages that kids go through. But um, I think with that, it, it was kind of a fine line because you want to spoil the kids and give them everything and every kind of opportunity, but you also don't want them to be brats. Mm. So with her, this was like a physical activity I could show her to go. There's a lot of people that are less fortunate and, you know, you've got to count your blessings. Sure. So... She, you know, she's an only child, so she loved playing with the kids, and she just felt mm. they're so happy. Mm -hmm. and, and she goes with you, so yeah. she, she goes with you me. don't tell us, you show her, she's, she's involved her. with Yeah, she's it. too little for me to sit down yeah. and have a conversation uh. with, so I show her. Mm. And that's she... That's kind of interesting, yeah. yes. <laughs> 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 with her. Yeah, no, no, that doesn't work, it doesn't go down at all. <laughs> <laughs> but listen, last week you helped Home of Hope, it's yeah. one of the charities that mm. you're involved with, yeah. but you're involved with another one, Fallen Angels. Yes. And we have Gail Basson here, she is from Fallen Angels. Let's welcome her, please. Hello. Hello. Gail, 
welcome. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Let's speak about Fallen Angels. What do you do? We are an animal rescue organization that mainly concentrates on dogs. Yes, a few cats, mm. but mm. mainly dogs. Who did you begin? Oh, we started in 2014, February. We had already been helping out with other rescue organizations and we just decided to start our own. Mm. Mm. And how many dogs do you guys have at the moment in your... 350. Wow. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> Where do you find the dogs? We work with other organizations that will contact us. Sometimes we go out into the areas that, that need help. Mm. Um, we often just contact it through the vets for strays mm. and you know dogs that have, have never been claimed. Mm. So, yeah, unfortunately, they find us. Yeah. I could pick you up your Facebook blood for Stanley Afrikaans, kind of my Afrikaans, but okay, kind of my worst on Engels too. Um, I went onto your Facebook page and, and then I saw that, I think it was last Wednesday, you guys were looking for, uh, was it 34,000 Rand? 43, for one of our vet rand? bills. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What were what, what it? Because you need to pay vet bills. Yes. So, what does that entail? Uh, well, with 350 dogs, you can imagine they, they mm -hmm. all come from. Sometimes such poor areas, they have never been looked after, mm. they've never had vaccinations. A lot of them are hit by cars or mm. hit by people or worse. So our vets, we, we have an amazing team of vets that um, helps us. They give us welfare rates. So we pay a little bit less than you would if you take your own dog to the vet. Mm. But 100%, every single dog that comes in goes to a vet, whether it's just for a checkup or injections. Mm -hmm. Some of them it's an operation, some of them it's a month of cage rest and rehab and mm -hmm. things. So our vet bills are always very high. So what's an average of, an, of a vet bill? <laughs> Depends what you're doing. You may your own as on a level. No, an eye operation could be 15,000 rand. Wow. Um, yeah, it's, yeah, it piles up very quickly. It piles up very quickly. We spend, uh, on average, every month about 50,000 rand sure. at the vets. Oh, wow. Yeah. That is a lot. How many people do you have that's involved? Who's all part of your team? There are 17 of us mm. that, that work and live on the farm. We live with all the dogs. Mm. And we you're only women? Uh, no, there's a few men. Uh -huh. But you started out as a group of yeah. women. Yes, yeah. two of us, yes. And uh, you encourage people to adopt yes. from you? or We do, we do. Mm. Uh, we adopt out about 350 a year. Mm. Uh, we probably get in about 350 mm. a year. So it's a never-ending, unfortunate mm. cycle. But yes, uh, more than welcome to adopt, mm. come and visit, foster. Mm. There's so many different ways that you can help. Mm. Sorry, this is an uh, awkward question. But so how long... Can a dog stay and not be in dog? What, what happens then? Okay, so we are pro quality of life. Mm. Uh, basically, depending on the condition mm. that the dog comes in or depending mm. what the injuries are, we, we always consult our vets. If they feel that the dog can be saved or it has fat in it, you know, mm. then we'll, we'll do whatever, mm. 100%. But we, we always go on the advice of our vets. If they feel that it would be kinder to put the doggy mm. to sleep, mm. then sure. we sadly do that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That is by yeah. said. Yeah. Where are you based? We are in Malkbostrand. Mm. Okay. Mm. Very mm. nice. Now, Whitney, we brought you here because you told us about this organization. Mm. And I think there's something else you'd like to tell Gail. Yes, there would actually be. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I, you know, through my blog we've we've managed to get a follower that would like to donate to you guys oh wow that's awesome the donation is fifty-two thousand oh. rand oh wow <laughs> Of course you can. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> so wow. that is just for you. Thank you very much, Whitney. But that's actually not all. That's oh. not all. So I want you to come okay. with oh, me. I'm going to sit. Oh, no, I'm not. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can hold that and you can bring that along. So hold that. Okay. You can come with me. We have Sherry Lowe here from Vet Brands. Okay. Sherry, welcome. This <laughs> lacrim you're eating. Oh, yay. Come with us because I'm ready and you can't come with me. Oh, my God. Hoe kom het jij vanavond? Ons is ook hier om vir julle een borskap te gee. Um, dit is ter waarde van 25.000 rand. Oh, okay, Ons geef julle 100 oh, 
Um, is een onnekoos en dan ook ontwerming en ons gaan ook antibiotica vir die veers geef van jylle kese. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Baie, baie dankie, Sherry van Bed Friends. En dan het ons ook vir amal in die gehoor gevra om Honneko saam te bring. Oh, you guys are awesome. So jy moet vir hulle ook dankie sê. Amal in die gehoor sê vir hulle gevra. Baie, baie dankie. Dit was so prachtig en die tyd het hier ook verhoorlik gevlieg. As jy die program geniet het, kom keier saam volgende keer in nooi sommer al jou vriende. Ons sien jy weer volgende week. Tot ziens. Tot ziens.